Hi friends, it's Gwen. Today I'm coming to you with the social media book tag created by Reagan at Faulty Devices. Question number one, Twitter. A book you want to share with the world. For that, I have chosen a book that I do not think that many people have talked about or have read. That book is The Particular Sadness of Lemon Cake by Amy Bender. This story is about um, a young girl, nine years old, on her ninth birthday, her mom makes her a lemon cake, and when she bites into that cake, she is so suddenly overwhelmed with the feelings of her mother, what her mother was feeling when she made this cake. And from that moment on, when she eats food, she can taste the emotions of people that have cooked for her. So she ends up liking certain um, people to cook for her and then other people, you know, um, not so much, but when she's eating at home a lot, she's kind of finding out stuff that really a nine-year-old should not really know the deep dark secrets of her parents. So I really thought it was interesting and I enjoyed it. I read it quite a while ago, but I recommend it. Social media number two is Facebook, a book you really enjoyed that was recommended by someone else. And for that, I have chosen um, The Kiss of Deception. I heard a lot about this on BookTube, particularly from Lainey at Ginger Reads Lainey. Um, she was raving about this book, so she didn't particularly single me out to recommend this book. She recommended it to everybody, and I was one of those people that took the recommendation, went and picked it up, read it over the summer, and absolutely loved it. Um, it follows a princess that runs away on her wedding day, and an assassin and a prince are, are both sent, at, or the prince goes on his own, but he goes after her, um, the assassin is sent after her, and we don't know who is who, it's told from multiple perspectives. You've heard about this book a million times by now because it's awesome and everybody's reading it, so if you haven't, please pick it up and try it out. Question number three is Tumblr, a book you read you read before BookTube but haven't raved much about on BookTube. And for that, I just had to pick, I, before BookTube, I was reading a lot of Patricia Cornwell. She has quite a few books. This whole shelf on my bookcase is dedicated to her series, her case, Scarpetta series. So I just picked randomly one of those that I remember because I read these like so long ago. But I picked Patricia Cornwell's Blowfly. And obviously, if you know what a blowfly is, and if you can kind of see it on the cover, um, that kind of, you know, ties into the story, obviously. Um, I plan to do, like, a Patricia Cornwell K. Scarpetta series collection at some point. Hopefully, when I get the other books, I'm only missing the first four books in the series and her newest one. So, I'm trying to catch up. But, yeah, so, blowfly. The next one, MySpace, a book you don't plan on rereading. And for that, I'm picking Unwanted by Christina Olson. And um, the reason why I'm not planning on rereading this is because it, I believe the author was Swedish or, yeah, she, she was, she's a Swedish author and I just found it very difficult, the terminology in the book to follow along and the writing style was not my favorite. I love these types of stories, but told this way, I wasn't really a big fan. The cover's beautiful. Um, I tried reading it once. I had to stop it because I just couldn't get through it. And then I went back and I was like determined to get through it. And I read it and it was a good story, but definitely one I won't reread. Next question, Instagram, a book with a gorgeous picture worthy cover. And I have posted this on my Instagram. Um, and that is Vivian Divine is Dead by Lauren Sable. I actually won this as part of the uh, Book Skull Instagram contest. And yeah, this cover, oh, gorgeous, right? So thank you, Lauren, for my book. I read it. It will be in my December wrap up. And if you'd like a separate review, I'd be willing to do that. But yeah, the cover is beautiful. YouTube, a book you wish would be made into a movie. And for that, I'm picking Cinder, the first book in the Lunar Chronicle series. And of course, if they make this into a movie, I really wish they would make the whole series into a movie. Um, I really think it would be interesting how they would go about doing that. I don't know if there's plans to make this into a movie, but I sure would like to see it. This is the very loose retelling of Cinderella, and it follows a cyborg girl who... 
I think she's 16 years old and she does have the stepmother and the and the you know the evil stepsisters um, but she's a cyborg she's a mechanic um, yeah I mean I've talked about this ton everybody else has if you haven't read it another book you should have already read by now last book and that social media is Skype and a book with characters that you wish you could talk to instead of just reading about. And for that, I picked Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. And I picked this because Kath just seems like someone I would already be friends with. And the other characters in the book are awesome too. And I just feel like I would fit right in and we could all be friends. Um, if you don't know what the story is about. I don't know why because you should have already read this. It follows twin sisters who go off to college and they kind of go their separate ways. They have separate rooms and Kath is more stay at home, write fan fiction, read books type and her sister Ren is more party. I feel like Kath and I would be really cool buddies and yeah I would really like to talk to them as well as read about them. So that wraps up the social media book tag. If you haven't already done it, I suggest you do it. It's really fun and it's pretty short. So there's that. I hope you're having a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.